Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining and, and welcome. Today we will be talking about mastering strategy execution, aligning goals and action with Monday.com. Yeah, so what are we going to talk about today? We'll be talking about understanding the strategy execution gap. Uh, we'll be translating strategy into actionable tasks. Uh, the third topic is cascading objectives and key results, OKRs, uh, uh, basically is explore how Monday.com supports the implementation of OKRs, enabling organizations to cascade goals from top level strategies to individual team members and fostering alignment and accountability. Our fourth topic would be visualizing strategy execution that's witness the power of visualizing strategy execution through Monday.com. Uh, through our boards and customizable boards and reporting features, gaining real-time insights into progress. And finally is collaboration and communication. Discover how Monday.com enhances collaboration and communication across the teams and departments, fostering and shared understanding of strategic priorities and promoting a culture of transparency, right? Uh, well, in some cases, you need more tailored product for your needs. That's where Monday products come in. Each product is tailored to your industry and pre-built to help teams handle and, and any complexity uh, at scale. Um, Monday products unlock new levels of efficiency by providing teams with end-to-end -end and uh, best practices, customized workflows, data-driven dashboards, and more. Uh, the part, the best part is that the, the, they're built on top of Monday work OS so, which means that every part of your organization gets the same flexibility to work exactly the way they need. To address some of the challenges I mentioned before, with Monday.com, you, you'll start resolving those immediately. Uh, you can align departments through, through, through the company, collaborate across teams, time zones, and location, centralize it all. It's, uh, you can get updates, files, data, and more in one single platform bridge information silos, manage progress from anywhere, save time by automating routine work, balance teamwork at all times. And that ends up, uh, uh, it, it, it ends up helping us uh, take driven decisions with real-time data and, and, and helping the organization, your organizations grow uh, the best way possible. Um, here, so the idea is that you can manage and run all of your work on Monday which includes integrating uh, with the tools your organizations already use. And also, um, there's a marketplace where over 100 app, where over more than 100 apps to power your workflows, like custom views, widgets, additional integrations, automations, and more. And in that marketplace, it's included our time tracking app, ClockHound. Uh, so if you'd like more information about ClockHound, please feel free to let us know. Uh, uh, or you can go to monday.com marketplace and download it. Uh, you'll have a, a trial version so you can start playing with the app and, and we can solve any questions to, uh, to, to that you that you have in the, in the future. Okay. Um, and because Monday is designed uh, with flexibility to fit absolutely any use case, you can build and adapt to any workflow project or process. Uh, and indeed, you see our customers making the most of Monday in so many different ways. Different ways. There's not just just not for a project management area. You have it for IT, for operations, for final finance, for sales, for legal, uh, for HR. So uh, as, as as the platform is so customizable, you can you can well obviously with our help um, um, customize the platform the way you want it to work. And we can help you assemble all your workflows and and with all the the support and assistance you need you, you may you may be you may find uh, needing from us so um is it worth kind of uh, pointing out that the um and, and you may see this in your um um monday instances um the navigation has changed a little bit uh, and so monday has been rolling this out for for some times there's obviously a lot of instant a lot of customers um kind of a lot of pods where they're rolling this out and so the navigation they changed a little bit and so 
now you're able to kind of navigate um, at any point to home, which, you know, the, before it was uh, slightly to the left and at the bottom, and there was a lot of icons. So now you kind of um, have that quick link straight to it so you can see everything that you got going on, um, any of the uh, projects that you've been working on um, and all that. And so that's all kind of at your fingertips. And of course, um, you know, you've got the My Work uh, area where, you know, it shows uh, any of the items that uh, you might be working on. Um, uh, the, um, there's a way to customize this and kind of, you know, they keep improving on that. Um, and so you can, you know, keep adding boards. Uh, you can figure out the status columns that you want to use. Um, and then, you know, which, um, uh, which date columns uh, you want to use to kind of uh, point out um, when the tasks do uh, and so on and so forth. And so uh, this has been improved upon. And of course, you know, before you had the, um, um, uh, the workspace at the top, now it's slightly um, uh, lower, and so you'll be able to kind of pick that out um, uh, as well. So familiar functionality, you can still go and browse all. Now it's a little pop out and, and uh, uh, very nice and, and easy to navigate. Um, and then um, a hamburger menu at the top, depending on which products you uh, you pick out um, when you're signing up for Monday, they will show up here for um, my team. You know, we've got the work management and of course, uh, we have the uh, the work forms. Um, then on the heels of, of what um, um, what Carlos and, and Greg uh, were talking about, um, you know, it's it's always good to kind of keep track of the uh, of the of the of the work that that's going on, and and you need to do it at a different level, right? Because you need to align, you need to make sure that you know the right people engage at the right time, um, and so um, there are ways to kind of keep track of a kind of program portfolio uh, level to see um, the summarized information of uh, uh, all of the of the data that, that's coming in from different projects and be able to kind of summarize it and, and see the progress. And so uh, right here, um, I've got a dashboard. And this is kind of what we try to start with a dashboard because they give you the, the summary of the um, uh, of all the data that, that's coming, the funneling through. Um, and so, um, Definitely worth mentioning, and I want to make sure that uh, uh, everybody knows because a lot of times we talk to customers and it, it comes in to be a uh, um, a question, um, and uh, uh, folks do not know. Um, you know, it's, it's dashboards all about summary. Yes, there's dashboards you can have on your uh, boards, uh, but once you start working on the uh, um, dashboards that are um, outside of the particular board, you can bring other uh, boards into the uh, into the dashboard, and so if you have you know more more than one board to summarize, you can. And so here, for example, we are bringing in you know any projects that need approval, any high level programs, risk management, all the projects that we are working on, so the project boards as well. And so I'm using the data uh, to show on the dashboard is kind of what's driving uh, what you guys see um, on the. Uh, uh, on the screen now. And so at the top, you have kind of got overall uh, projects. These are the statuses of the um, items for each project. And so we have, um, for example, in a, a project Aiden, we have 20% items that are done, 60 of them, uh, sorry, uh, that are stuck, 60% of them are completed, um, and then uh, 20 that are uh, that are in progress. And and these are clickable, right? If, I, if I'm going to go and, and, and click at the, uh, uh, on the, um, on these items, it'll bring up um, what it is that I'm trying to drill into. And so it'll show you what that looks like um, in the uh, in a table view. Um, below kind of the overall uh, status, right? So having an understanding of where you're at in the, um, uh, you know, in terms of the individual tasks helps, but then you can have kind of like a um, uh, an overall status. And so, you know, we've seen the um, Project Alpha, 85% done, it is on track, and same thing with Project Bravo. Um, and then you got Project Charlie and Delta that are behind schedule. And again, um, you can go into uh, uh, each individual project and take a look at what's going on, why it's behind schedule, what are the what are the dates that are that are being uh, uh, missed, and so on and so forth. And so uh, clicking on those uh, does give you uh, an ability to uh, drill in and, and take a look at the uh, uh, at the problem within the project. And so if you want to pick out a project from the uh, from the dashboard, you can click at it and it'll take you straight uh, to its board. Uh, kind of moving on 
um, you know, a little bit different take and different information um, from the projects. You have the effort breakdown, right? So it shows you how many hours um, it has taken to uh, complete some of the uh, items, how many projected uh, hours uh, that for the items that are in progress, and the uh, items that are in progress, or sorry, that are stock, um, how many hours is, is going to be dedicated to them. And so, you know, you see that across the, uh, the each project that uh, we're doing the summary for. Um, obviously, none of this is possible without, you know, having um, uh, people work um, on different tasks. Um, and so, you have the effort and estimation uh, based on the uh, people that are assigned. You know, this is an example. You'll have a little bit more of a, uh, a little bit busier uh, a dashboard because you have more than two individuals assigned to tasks. But right now, between Greg and I, you know, we've got our effort estimation of, you know, 50 hours for myself and 66 hours for uh, for Greg. And then, you know, depending on the time, uh, you know, on tasks uh, on time and delayed, you know, Greg's got um, a one task that's on time and two that's delayed. I want to point out that I'm really good and all my stuff is on time. Um, um, and of course, it, you know, it's kind of moving on. Um, you want to make sure that you have the right people in the right places and, and they're, they're being um, uh, utilized in the proper way. Um, and uh, projects that need attention do get the proper people. And so, you know, you have the ability, ability uh, to see all of the um, uh, a resource management or workload uh, per project um, that, um, uh, that you're projecting for the, uh, uh, you know, uh, weeks and months to come, or, or you can and see what was going on in the previous weeks. And so here, for example, you know, this is a great example of things that are um, overbooked um, or projects that are overbooked, projects that are underbooked, um, and, and that's on time. And so kind of uh, looking over, you know, we've got a, uh, a Project Charlie here. One day uh, on the week of week four of the year, uh, we had um, two tests that were being worked on and not to the full capacity. On the other hand, you got the week five where we had four tasks for this particular week and that put us over the capacity. And of course, you know, this is the view of when the capacity is 100% matched. Um, and so you get that, you know, um, that um, uh, a circle with the uh, check market and so on. It kind of shows that, you know, the capacity stepped out for this week, you cannot do any more. And so, you know, with that, you can, uh, you know, based on the dates and based on the people that are assigned, you can kind of continue on and, and uh, add to the, um, up to this view. Now, you know, doing it at the project level is great, but what about the individuals? And so the next view is, you know, based on the individual. So this shows, you know, because Greg and I are the only ones that's got the uh, items assigned to them. You know, this is what, what we've got um, for a particular week. And so week 24, I am, um, I still have capacity open. Um, and then, you know, prior, you know, all the weeks for Greg and I are open. Now, um, all the things that are unassigned, all the items that are um, still need to, to have to be assigned, they've been added to a particular week and that need to be completed. You know, if we're gonna be assigning them to individuals, um, you know, it's like splitting up this particular, um, the week 11, uh, if we assign to different individuals, um, the uh, we're not gonna be over capacity. Um, and if Greg and I are working on that, we'll split that work and both we are going to be either at or uh, under capacity. Um, as same thing, kind of keeping track of the individuals and the hours and how much time they spend on the project. Same thing is uh, kind of keeping track of the, um, you know, financials on a particular project, right? You have a project that uh, um, allocates the money uh, for each step and so you know, you can see uh, allocated spend uh, by stage. And so uh, for the items that uh, that are done, we spent 127,000 for Project Alpha. Uh, items that are in progress, we're spending about 15,000 and everything that's stuck, uh, it's $25,000 uh, or so. Uh, and so there is uh, a way to associate the dollars uh, to, the, um, to the items and do the calculations. And so it's, uh, it, it shows, um, um, in this way uh, on your dashboard, right? So you can, you can be, able to be able to keep track uh, of the overall budget. Um, and then of course you have the uh, uh, the budget uh, categories and so you're able to kind of um, allocate based on the project. And so 
of, for example, transportation materials, those are the ones that we uh, decided to have. And so for uh, Project Delta, it's X many dollars. For uh, Project Charlie, X many dollars. Uh, Project Bravo, X many dollars, and so on and so forth. So each one, uh, you can single out which um, which category um, uh, takes on which amount of money uh, from, from the budget. Um, you know, the ever sleeping llama farm, uh, right now they're kind of hanging out elsewhere. Um, not on my not on my farm, so we're gonna skip that part. Um, the um, the next uh, portion of it is kind of has to do uh, kind of with the program level. Um, it shows um, a little bit of the um, items and, and the uh, uh, tasks that uh, that are assigned to each program, right? And so we've got um, a bunch of them here on the part on the chart and kind of overall status uh, in terms of how many were approved. Uh, how many under consideration, how many have been rejected, um, and uh, uh, new that haven't been uh, considered yet. Um, of course, you have the uh, uh, the calendar kind of uh, showing when any of these initiatives are um, a due. Uh, and so uh, you can see, uh, you know, certain projects uh, come due on certain dates. And so uh, having that kind of calendar view uh, and be able to drill in into each one um, uh, definitely helps out. Uh, trying to plan individual uh, initiatives, individual projects. Um, and of course, having the uh, the overall budget uh, that you're operating with for a particular year, um, and then a total budget um, that, uh, that your organization has um, uh, displayed here. And, and so you'll be able to kind of summarize that from, from different boards. So if you have, uh, say, a particular project uh, that uh, allocated the amount of budget, um, you can, you know, assuming that the others are set up in the uh, kind of the same way, you'd be able to summarize the totals um, here. Going alongside of, of, of what we've covered so far, um, I've got uh, the individual projects that actually make up the uh, the program and portfolio dashboard, right? So if, for example, we'll look at Project Alpha, this is where you see kind of those are the tasks that the individuals are getting assigned to. Uh, and and, uh, and this, that's kind of where it translates to the allocations or over allocation and so on. Um, th the point being is, you know, for the dashboards, it, it always helps to have the um, the project uh, boards set up in a similar way. And so if you see me clicking through like Project Echo, it'll be the very similar setup to uh, Alpha. Kind of same thing with Project Bravo. You know, you've got the owner status, baseline, the activities and so on and so forth. Same thing with Project Charlie. Um, all of this uh, uh, helps to kind of drive the summary. And so if if we're able to summarize kind of the same uh, data, that will make more uh, effective dashboards. Um, at the same time, you know, there, there is a, a risk management dashboard that we can kind of mitigate risk from, right? So you've got the, uh, the business opportunity and the, you're trying to uh, work through the projects and deliver to your uh, customers. Uh, you want to make sure that you keep track of any of the risks that are associated uh, with any of the um, uh, any of the items, and obviously all of that needs to be identified. However, the summary of that uh, would make it nice uh, to uh, show up on the uh, a particular dashboard. And so, um, you've got um, risks defined um, for each uh, project uh, within the uh, 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 the risk area, and so you've got say for example, risk one uh, may have some sub item um, and then you're uh, you're able to kind of summarize the probability, the impact, the risk level and so on. And so that will show up uh, in the um, uh, in the charts and the kind of uh, the risk analysis uh, at the top here. So um, one of the things that we, uh, uh, we did talk about um, uh, was actually, you know what, uh, give me one second, let me, here you go. Um, let me, um, we talked about uh, kind of a, a putting together a, a business strategy and a business plan. Um, and we talked about um, uh, the uh, the key results that, that drive teams. And so um, on one side, we've got the, uh, the business plan, right? So we've got uh, all of the, um, um, goals and 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 uh, uh things that we want to do uh for our for our business and so 
you define them uh, per uh, different categories. So here, for example, you were able to split that up into summary, market analysis, a marketing plan, and so on. And, and these are kind of the individual tasks. It, 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 uh, it comes across dry uh, a little bit, right? So uh, just having the items on the uh, board does not necessarily um, uh, translate well. And so that's why having a Gantt chart kind of shows what goes after what, what the timeline is. And so um, it, it translates very nicely. So you'll you be able to kind of define, so look, you know, in March, we're gonna do certain things. In April, we're gonna do certain things. And so uh, kind of driving that towards um, towards the end goal uh, with, with the uh, items that you're trying to uh, define and then complete uh, to, um, to finish and start your business, right? And so uh, the other part of it is it translates nicely when you have a kind of doc that explains everything that, uh, uh, that you're trying to do within your um, uh, within your business plan, and it actually highlights very nicely um, on the uh, on the doc. And so this is kind of a, a spin into the um, a, a document, uh, which is not new, but uh, a very fresh functionality from uh, Monday.com, kind of having. Uh, uh, documents that you can uh, make interactive in your own. And so this is an, just an example um, of being able to kind of pick out different pieces, right? So you got a business plan for strategy execution. Uh, you've got summary uh, items. And so you, you got the uh, the overall status and and you have the um, um, the status of the uh, of the goals and things you want to you want to do. And then on the same uh, at the same time, be able to summarize and give kind of a two cents of what what people are seeing and, and what describes the uh, these business goals you have and kind of you know if you keep going you know different sections you can still have the uh, for example here you got a target market analysis and what tasks are associated with them and so kind of description and everything else uh, that kind of goes a long way and so um, same thing uh, with the competitive analysis and so on and so forth so kind of having that breakdown really helps uh, to uh, not only summarize, uh, but also kind of put your thoughts um, on the paper, uh, quote unquote. Um, Greg, Carlos, any thoughts, um, comments on this? I think it's um, just, you know, again, as we talked about, it's a great way for the organization to know what's going on across the, the table, right? Um, you know, there's so many times we talk to organizations and, you know, every organization has its silos and no one knows. And a lot of the, these interconnect, right? So if your sales, sales should be working with marketing. Uh, marketing might be working with product, uh, you know, as to how to get the product out. So this really gives some great insight across the board as to where everything is at. And are there any, you know, changes to timeline, right? Because we all know there are blockers along the way, and, and this starts to give you an idea of, are we on time? Are we behind? Um, and so there should be no surprises as we go along, so. Yep, makes sense, makes sense. Thank you, Greg. Um, and so, you know, it, it's great that, you know, we've got a business plan, we're keeping track of the projects, you know, the overall goals, right? Um, and this is a uh, a brand new template from uh, from Monday, and this is their take on the uh, objective key results, right? So, uh, being able to kind of uh, uh, summarize what are the things that you want to do, uh, you know, you know, break them down to objectives and and kind of depict uh, what makes up uh, each uh, objective, and uh, how much time and and uh, and uh, um, uh, individuals um, you assign and, and spend on uh, on each objective, and so. Having that overall um, a board for your team uh, definitely makes uh, 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 makes it easier to keep track of. Now it doesn't need to stop just at the uh, um, at the team level, right? You can reuse the same uh, board and have that done by the you know individuals and kind of the reuse uh, the same uh, kind of elements. You got the you know who the, what the priority is for you, what the status is for you, you know, keeping track of the progress and what the timeline is, and and all of this is. It's great, and it's you know um, on its own, right? Having keep track of each item, but again, it uh, translates really nicely uh, when you have a timeline and it shows when each one of your objectives uh, is due. And so you can have the conversation with the with the team, kind of overall of this is 
this is where we're at and, and this is where the objectives are and this you know here, here's how we're going to get there or each individual you know can have their own timeline and align that uh with their work and that's actually um now that i think about it, it's a it's a great um a, a dashboard to have right you have all your project work that you can uh kind of summarize and throw on the uh, on the timeline and at the same time you can have the overall your um, um your objectives um, that you want to complete as an individual kind of at the top of that timeline uh, to show um, against the things that you're working on. And so nice way to summarize the individual efforts uh, that you can do. Um, and so, like I said, you know, having that on the timeline, putting it in perspective of uh, having uh, some dates applied to it definitely uh, definitely helps. And then, of course, having the uh, a simple dashboard that kind of shows you um, uh, where you at? Obviously, there's other things that uh, you can add to this, but uh, very quickly, uh, it's simple to show you know any of the the priority distribution that you have for your uh, for your goals, right? How many do you have uh, low? How many high? And how many medium? Right? And so um, then you kind of align where you need to put your efforts, and then of course having the uh, objective progress. You know how many um, you have done, how many still in progress, and so um, having that uh, a battery level uh, gadget. Uh, helps immensely. Um, thoughts, questions um, on this, Greg or or, uh, Carl, uh, or Carlos? Russ, I think you know the one thing I like about the OKRs, and you just talked about it briefly, was you know how it can drill down to an individual. But I think the the better way is how 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 that individual activity drills goes upwards to achieving the goals for the actual company. Um, I think a lot of times as individuals, you know. We, People show up, they do their work, but not really sure how that affects the overall um, vision or direction of the organization. And so I think with the OKRs, people start to see, you know, the results they are providing towards that that overall goal and objective. Uh, I think really helps to to motivate people at times. So um, you know, a lot of our organizations that we work with have embraced OKRs, and um, they, they like for everyone in the company to feel. You know the the value that they're adding and the importance that they bring to the organization and i think this can help visualize uh, show a visualization of that so I think it's yeah cool. it, 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 yeah it, it comes up uh, um, uh, very often where people say look i'm doing all this work yes i'm getting the salary but kind of the overall uh, a goal or overall um a success of the company it does not translate to what i do and so i think this is a great uh, great way to uh to kind of uh, communicate that message not only upwards but also downwards as well. Um, yeah, that is really how only... the, the platform is, so you can visualize it, all your tasks and all the things you need to get done. It, it it's way easier to do it, it and, and to visualize all the work you have to do uh, to achieve all the, the the objectives of the company. 